Back to video number 43. Okay, who found the error on the last page? Well, it really wasn't an error. I just spelled my function wrong. I wanted to call it find underscore selected underscore page, but you can go ahead and change it if you want. Either way, it's fine because we copied and pasted it. So as long as this is the same thing that you have in your functions file, you are okay. Okay, so now we have a function created for a menu on our new underscore info.php page right here. So let's go ahead and just use this on our content.php page. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all this and I'll go to our content page. Nope, content. Where are you? There it is. And let's go ahead and plug this in. I'm actually going to put this all on one line. That looks good. So check it out. We've got our connect.php page, our functions.php page, our function that we just called, and our header.php file all here in four lines of code. That is pretty darn good. Now I think we should go ahead and create a function for all this stuff right down here. So let's go ahead and grab, start right here at your, I think this is our first UL tag, and let's go down to our second, whoa, 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 our second UL tag right there. Okay, let's copy this. Let's go ahead and create a function for this as well. And I'm going to go ahead, scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to go consolidate this. I'm going to drop a bunch of lines of code. And I'm going to go ahead and call this function, um, I'll just call it function nav, navigation. Okay. And this one does need an argument. We need to pass through our variables for information and our variables for pages. Okay, now let's go and create some open curly braces. I'm going to go and delete that and just put it down at the bottom right here. And let's go ahead and paste all that stuff inside here. Okay, well, we got to clean this up a little bit because since we're already in PHP, we can get rid of this right now. So take this PHP opening tag, get rid of it, and there should be a closing one right here. And I don't want to spend too much time cleaning this up, but this, this does need to be cleaned up. Okay, since we're already inside PHP, we need to go ahead and echo our UL now. So, close that out. We need to put, we need to escape out of these. So, put one there, and then one there as well. And let's go ahead and Scroll down a little bit more, and I need to do that for our closing UL as well. So we're going to echo these back out to our HTML, and let's save this, and let's go ahead and grab our function that we just created. We'll copy this, we'll go to our new underscore info.php page, and let's go ahead and where do we go down to our second UL right there? Perfect. Okay, so now plug it in right here. So let's go ahead and give it PHP tags. And let's get sure enough, let's call it. Did I copy and paste it? Yeah, okay, so we'll close it out. And now let's go to our new info new underscore info dot php page and let's reload it perfect okay so everything worked as planned and what else can we do in this video we might as well just put it on our content dot php page as well so let's go ahead and take all of this from our ul class all the way down to our second ul tag right there and let's do the exact same thing we just did let's go ahead and Go ahead and call this. I'll drop down another line or two to make it easier for you guys to see. And let's go ahead and do I still have this? Yep, okay, cool. 
Sounds good to our content.php page. Uh oh. Perfect. All right. Hopefully, you guys are following along and everything looks great. And it does. This is our main. All right, guys. Well, good luck with this. We'll see you guys in the next video.